Good afternoon guys. I'm going to give you a warm welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video today. It's past time for one and you know I'm starting to make all kinds of content at least three or four weeks out so I don't know when you'll see this video but uh but yeah this one's going to be kind of a slow day one here. Not really much going on because I got a lot going on this evening but I want to show you around the cars and what I've got going on with this one behind me while I've got the hood popped up on it give you guys a couple little minor updates on it nothing spectacular but something to help the car in the future so uh let me show you around it so sorry if the video is a little shaky um if you haven't noticed uh caster camber plates have been changed out to the maximum motorsports caster camber plates this was a mod that I've been aiming to do and I just never got around to it and yesterday was a good opportunity it was a spur of the moment thing and I have no experience with these and it was a good learning experience last night unfortunately I didn't get it on camera it's just uh so maybe in the future I will have another car like this and I will do my own. I will we'll do this again but uh you see the tires on the rear look better more flush with the lip than what they were the pan hard bar was out of adjustment and I'm thinking friend was looking at it he, he said that's exactly what's wrong with it so we had the pan hard bar adjusted we adjusted it last night well he did and got her looking a lot better and as you could tell the front tires look better on this car it's just uh, they're more straight and I tell you last night driving this thing home last night it has never driven that great before and I don't want to drive it anymore until I get it to the alignment shop to see to get it to full get it fully aligned but, but there she is She's looking very well so that's really all I have on this one is just a Castor camber plate upgrade, and we adjusted the pan hard bar to get the tires more flush. So it looks a whole lot better. That tire is massive. That's a 305. The back of that thing. And it does help with traction somewhat, but it still tries to blow them off. But uh, this will also potentially help the car get a better ET instead of pushing the front tires it'll actually be rolling on this time so every little bit helps an eighth of a mile you'll be surprised so i'm gonna turn this attention away from this car um i'll give you guys an update on this one in a second i'll change the battery on this one and see what's going on with it so so that's what we're going to do to this one we're going to change the battery out get this one to run I'm going to drive this one this weekend. There's a no prep event going on and I like to I like to take this car out. This car is actually fun to drive even though no matter what it is. But I uh, ran a new personal best in it a couple weeks ago and it went a 930 an eighth of a mile which compared to a 940 it went a 930 it actually picked up a little bit uh, just because I made some changes. So every little bit helps once again. So, more on that later on. So, getting back to this car, this one, uh, as we know from the previous upload, we have, nothing's really changed from the last time. The intake manifold is on. Um, we have a Wii and Stealth intake on it. And all the bolts are torqued down the spec. We just got to put the valve covers on, uh, bolt them down, 
and to get the flywheel flex plate from for the transmission that's next so that'll be possibly happening next week so stay tuned for an upload on that and it just seems like the car that just seems I keep forgetting about I'll show you guys the car in a minute See if it's got juice. Flip you. Flip you now. Flip that. It should. It had. It lit the test light. It lit it up. Yeah, well, I think. Now it might not have enough power to crank it, but it's got power. That's a tail pipe case, ain't it? I mean, it should blast right off, really. Fox body life, guys. Gotta love it. My father helping me out here. I really do appreciate his help. Alright guys, it's going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this, but I'm going to talk about this car right quick. And I've talked about it before, but as you can tell, it sounds pretty much stock. You know, stock drivability does run, it's pretty strong on the drag strip. It went a 930 
from my previous time. It went a 940, it went a 930 this time. Very happy about that. But um, the uh, next few mods I have for this car, I have a an 8.8 .8 with aftermarket axles with a 373. I'm going to try that and go back to the track and see how well it does. And if I'm not happy with those numbers, we're going to go faster. I already know I'm not going to be happy with it, but we're going to try it anyway. See how well it does with 373. Because I do plan on going boost with this car in the future, but I don't know yet. So I may go with a 410. So I have two options there. But there's not really much difference between 373 or 410. But I also have a comp cam that's a 284-286 duration with a 673 valve lift with a 114 low separation angle. I don't know, I'm curious to hear how well it would sound in a car like this. I haven't heard it before, but it should sound pretty radical, so I don't know. But truck's going by. But uh, anyway guys, uh, my next video is going to be at the drag strip. We're going, I'm going to be spectating, of course. I'm going to be taking a lot of drag racing footage for you guys to enjoy. And, uh, and I just want to say this. you know, if, I'm going to enter this car into stick shift when I get it done. And I'm doing this for the fun because I'm not doing it for the money. I don't, I'm not going to win. I'm going for it for the fun. If you are in for drag racing for the money, you are in for it for the wrong reason. So you're wasting your time. So that's how I see it, you know, coming from my perspective. So if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your week.